It is currently Monday, July 30 and um, so what I have in store for me this week, well on Wednesday I have to get my color class finals checked by my prof and then on Tuesday, oh whoa, on Thursday, wait, start again. So what's in store for me this week? Well, today I had um, my, what class would you call it? It's called NAPSID, so natural, natural something. It's like, it's a design class, it's a major. And like in this class we learn like um, color theory and how our designs affect the viewers or like ergonomics and anthropometrics that's what we learned there and stuff like that so it's very like user or audience based like our work has to fit well with the audience if that makes sense and then yeah today we just worked on our finals, which is a group project. <laughs> um, yeah, we have to make a 3D model of like a booth. And the booth my group decided to do was a pop-up dog park. So yeah, we gotta work on that. And Monday schedules, I only have one class that starts from 6 to 9. And... Um, Tuesday would also be a Monday schedule because um, we had a lot of suspensions this term so they basically just messed up our schedule so I have my I have Monday schedule on a Tuesday again so I only have one class again tomorrow which is that same Natsid class and then on Wednesday it's the normal Wednesday schedule I have PE and my color class and for my color class color color God. color class for my color class um nothing is due but because our finals are still due on the 8th but I need to bring and show my professor what I've I have done so far and I'm pretty ahead of the rest of my class um and then on Thursday, it's a Tuesday schedule, which is like the same thing for me. My Tuesday and Thursday schedules are the same. But on that day, my statistics final project is due, so I have a paper due. And then on Friday, I don't even think I need to go to class. Because um, I only have one class, and I'm like, have I been covering the mic this whole time? Um, but I'm, it's an oral comm class, but I'm done with all my requirements for that class, so I don't know if I still need to go. And then on Saturday, because since we had a lot of suspensions, we have a makeup class, which is also for our Monday schedule, which is for that Natsid class. So, yeah, because I'm actually fine with having that makeup schedule, because we'll be able to work on our project, which is due next Monday, so next week, on the 6th, and then on the 7th, I have a test, and on the 8th, I have my finals, um, finals that's been really stressing me out, hmm, hmm, but I'm almost done, <laughs> I'm almost done, for that, for my color class finals, we have to make a whole Disney movie franchise, so we have to, one, make our own story, well, not make our own story. We have to base a movie. We have to make a movie <laughs> based on based on a Filipino folklore. So, yeah, I'm doing my story based on when the lilies return. So we have to make one, two, six, eight characters. We have to draw eight characters. We have to sculpt. Um three of them and then we have to make toys packaging merchandise um book cover comic book cover all of that and anything you can think that would be in a movie franchise we have to do 
and this is like a solo finals so um <laughs> i've been working on it for like months <laughs> that's a lie not months we did not have a month probably i've been working on it since Maybe since the 16th of July, most probably, yeah. Oh no, kidding, on July 10th. I started working at, working on it July 10th. So it's almost, no actually it hasn't been a month. It will be a month, almost a month when I submit. <laughs> so yeah, taking you along my last finals for my first year in college. Yay. I'm actually pretty proud of my spread this month. Um, but yeah. So like this is the monthly spread, like the calendar where I list down everything important I need to do and I have goals here. Um, and then here I have my August favorites. Although it isn't August yet, I already started filling it up. And then today is a Monday. I'm done with two things that I need to do today. So I finalized like what I needed to do for my NATSID class and coordinated with my group mates. And then I worked on my statistics project. Now I'm currently studying for my religion class. Wow. <laughs> currently studying for my religion class. And let me just show you. <laughs> I was not on YouTube. Um, this is how I study for like academic classes, I guess you could say. Um, so I have my book here and then I have little notes on the side and then I have handwritten notes which I'm lazy to reach for but yeah I have handwritten notes and then from those handwritten notes like on my notebook I will um encode it on my laptop and make little charts like this and then i'll print it out and usually if i need more memorization i'll put it on index cards but i don't know if i have time to put this all on index cards so yeah i'm currently studying that and then yeah it's currently 11 p.m but I can risk sleeping pretty late since my class still starts at 6 p.m. tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you when I'm finished studying with for <laughs> this class. And I'll start working on my sculptures afterwards. Okay, so I'm done studying for my um, religion class, so now I'm going to work on my color class project. So I just thought I would show you how I project plan for like big art projects like this. So like this project, this final project obviously has little elements to it. So. I have all these little, this is what you call a Gantt chart. So all these little elements are here. And then I have the dates leading up to the deadline here. And I have, so like here, um, 
to work on research and conceptualization, I gave myself from July 10 to July 14, and by the 14th, I should already be conceptualizing. And like here, so let's say, um, what's today? July 30. Um, oh, this is like the old um, timeline I used to have. The old due date, because since we had a lot of suspensions, they also extended our term. So instead of August 1, the due date is August 8, so that's like a week later. So that's why I'm pretty ahead of time, but let's say July 30, I should already be printing. But right now, um, I have a lot of stuff done already. Like... Tonight, I'm going to make it my goal to finish painting the sculptures. Yes, and by tomorrow, I'm going to finish the scenes. For the sculptures, I used air dry clay. So, they're still not yet painted. So this is like a lizard. His character is a lizard, but he thinks he's an alligator. Yeah. And then... This one is a little bird. It's a bleeding, a Luzon bleeding heart dove, and his name is Bon, short for Ebon. <laughs> and then this one is a duende. I don't have a name for him yet, but he's a duende. So tonight I'm going to make it my goal to paint them. So, I finished my, like, mapping out the colors for my sculpture, so, this is the little duende, this is the bleeding heart though, I still have to add the bleeding heart part, it's not focusing, um, and then this is the little lizard. So yeah, I'm done with all the tasks I have to do today, so I'm gonna go to bed, man. watching um that 17 show yeah and i'm like really really digging it you know what i'm saying <laughs> um but i don't have class until six and i'm meeting mim at four so i think i'm just gonna pick some some no some supplies for my finals yeah. 
first I was planning on going to the grocery to get some things but I don't feel like going to the grocery because most probably I'll like run in to people and I don't feel like doing that so I'm just gonna stop by the supply store and probably get some food because I haven't eaten yet that's already one <laughs> classes today but I'm gonna do some work some work because <laughs> I'm an orienter for the incoming freshmen so I have some duties to attend to so yeah that's just my shift demand booth is like 11 10 to 12.50 It is currently 10.35 So probably gonna head out in a bit and then buy some food and then skedaddle on out and then after my shift Nim and I are going to go to the printing shop and we're gonna print parts of our finals since since it's already due mm, and then next week Oh my god. 
So I just got home and I got my some of some of the parts of my finals printed. So let me let me show you a little bit. Such a name. Um I got it printed in a printing shop near my school. And they like specialize in these kinds of shenanigans. <laughs> Since you know I go to an art school so it'll just yeah mm -hmm. so this is like the front part of my packaging and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it out and then put um, acetate behind it so they gave me four because I think they didn't want to waste paper so they just printed four for me which is fine I guess since if I make a mistake cutting um, the parts out then I have backup. Why isn't it focusing? There we go. And then this is my children's book cover. I decided to go minimalist, and if you can see, they're like rain, raindrop, raindrops, like little textures. And then this is my comic book cover. It does not look like a comic book um it looks more like an album but whatever and then this is for the musical since we have to make like a musical interpretation poster yes so yeah and then this is my movie poster as you can see i'm going for the minimalist look due to the time constraints and i feel like disney in general um actually not in general like some some of the time they go for the minim minimalist look especially recently so yeah i hope my hope my professor understands that but yeet so i don't know what i'm gonna do now i'm probably gonna rest a little bit then get back to work because i still have to finish stuff for this like my color class final so yeah <laughs> hello so it's monday again and i'm like kind of really rushing because it's like almost three and I said I would meet my group mates at 4. And I still have to print stuff for my finals on Wednesday for my color class. So, yes, we are in a rush. finals which are due on Wednesday and I'm having a bit of a problem with the layout because our professor gave us specific sizes for the certain elements but those sizes don't match up with the illustration board so that's the problem that we have here So far, I have this page down, um, and 
turn this page down. I'm going to add another thing here. Put another thing here. These are for the pops. Point of what? What do pops stand for? I know pops are merchandise. I'm not of anything, to be honest. Oh my god. But what else other than that? Huh? Oh. Okay, so I haven't printed out the characters yet. Um, so this is like the only page I'm. I don't know how to lay out. So I'm thinking, um, protagonist, antagonist. Maybe I can go a little bit there. Balancer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that weird? Oh my god, I'm so confused. I am a math genius and I figured it out. Uh, what I use, <laughs> not sponsored, this is what I use to attach um, the stuff. It's quicker than glue and sturdier than glue. It's like this glue tape. So I think that's the yeah, so glue what you call it. I use the full mark, haha, <laughs> mark flea glue tape. Not sponsored. So you just have to it's like correction tape, but glue. So you just roll it on the back and like like double sided tape comes out. Yeah. It wasn't that expensive. It was like 50 bucks. Which is like less than a dollar, I think. It's not all complete, but this is what she looks like so far. So over here we have a still background for the movie. I still have to add finishing touches, like more shadows behind that tree. And then here I just have to like finish adding more details to the character and more details on the peak yeah, the characters in general and more shadows. Then here, I need a plush toy design, but this is my packaging for the toy. Um, I cut out a part of it and put clear cellophane paper to give that plastic illusion. Actually, it's not even an illusion. It's like to actually show the texture and stuff. And then over here, we're having a hard time focusing apparently. Oh, there. Over here is the title. So it's called When the Lilies Return. <gasps> I forgot to put the Disney logo. Oh well. And then this is my minimalist movie poster because that's all I know how to do. And then over here is going to go the protagonist, antagonist, and the balancers and sidekicks. And then this is my Happy Meal um, McDonald's Happy Meal ad. And then um, those are the two black spaces I was talking about, so I'll probably just add that little lily. And then here is the um, children's book cover. This is a comic book cover, and this is a musical rendition of it. And over here are gonna be the merchandises, which I'll have to, I'll probably actually just print out tonight. Yeah! Okay, so a little story time as I work on my finals. So, actually I don't know if I'm going to be able to work while talking. So, <clears throat> it's currently 9.36. And I woke up at around like 8.30, 8.40. 
because my mom called me on my landline. That's the only reason why I woke up. And then when I looked at my phone, I, I noticed that my class group chat was blowing up. And I was like, hmm, I wonder what they're talking about. And apparently they were talking about grades. So our professor uploaded our grades this morning. And when I was like, okay, everyone's failing. I'm scared. That's why I, there was like an uproar in our class group chat. And I took a screenshot. And there, there she is. I don't know if you can see it. If you can't, I'll just put it on the screen. I got an R. R stands for repeat. So basically, I failed. And I was like, this is not actually... No, it's not possible, but then in my mind, I was like, maybe I did really, really bad in the finals. To the point that I just got an R. But I knew there was, like, something up. So, I, like, ran. I ran. This, I, I got changed. I changed. I didn't even put any makeup. Like, this, I went to school looking like this. Like... I ran to school because I needed to talk to him. I cannot get an R. Because, yeah, R means you repeat, so basically you fail that class. And if you get an R, you can't graduate with honors. Like, even if your GPA is high, you can't graduate with honors just because of that one R. So as I was running to school, I live about like a 10 minute walk. So I like literally ran. I was done getting dressed in like six minutes. And then, or actually less than six minutes because I was downstairs at my lobby at like 8.46. And we needed to be there at nine or else he wouldn't change our grade. So I ran there and I went and this is for Filipino. I'm not very good at speaking Filipino, let alone like trying to defend slash reason with someone yeah so i was there and i was like sir my grade well <laughs> and like everyone was looking at me because everyone there already knew like what happened obviously because they just talked to sir so i was just like about to cry and i was like my my extra credit po ba? and then he was like why what's your grade bad and I said sir I got an R <laughs> and then he made me calculate my grades and stuff and then like I couldn't process anything because I just woke up and then he was like joke this is your real grade and I got like a 91 which is pretty low but it's high for me, for Filipino, because <laughs> I suck at Filipino. So, <laughs> then he changed my grade to a 3. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, he changed it. Because it was just all part of, a, part of a prank. And I think he also wanted to see who actually cared about their grades in his class. Because he said he would only change the grade. said they're to be shot. pretty decent grade. I'm actually pretty happy with it, even if it's like not the highest in class. Still pretty high. I really feel like I can keep my Dean's List streak. Um, yeah. 
So, since that was my last finals, I finally have my summer! <laughs> Yay! So, yeah, I guess since I'm done with my finals, this is the end of my finals week vlog. Okay, thanks for watching, bye! <laughs>